The Destiny 2 beta test might be over, but while we await the full release of the game, I thought we should check out some of the awesome easter eggs and details that you might have missed. The opening mission of Destiny 2 sees you blast your way through the Red Legion forces who are attacking the tower, but while you're busy gunning them down and testing out your new supers, you might have missed some of the finer details hidden in the mission. For example, if you approach this door in the hangar area, you can hear music playing on the other side. In Destiny 1, this door led to an area containing a player controlled jukebox, but it sounds like it's taken a bit of damage during the Cabal's attack. The song playing is actually Sir Paul McCartney's Hope for the Future, which he wrote as part of the musical score for Destiny. Another cool nod to the first game is found in the armory. Although I didn't notice it on my first playthrough as I was way too distracted picking up my first exotic weapon, on the second time around I stopped to take a closer look and noticed that most of the guns in the room are actually Kvostovs, the same model of gun that everyone who played Destiny 1 unlocked in the first mission. We also get to enter the North Tower for the first time as this area has always been closed off in Destiny 1. Although it's a shame to see it like this for the first time, there are still some pretty cool shops. One in particular seems to be a bar and contains these bottles of liquor called Secondary Buff that also appear on Amanda Holiday's station back in the hangar. So apparently she was having a drink before the attack and is now piloting that ship in a war zone while drunk. Alright Guardian, time to kick him where it hurts. You can also find numerous nods to common sights from around the tower. For example, the purple ball that so many Guardians played with is now a deflated mess on the stairs. In fact, it's quite lucky that the sweeper bot is still hard at work as the whole tower is a mess. The new strike also has quite a few things you might have missed if you just went straight ahead. The opening area of the strike is actually part of a patrol zone and the area is huge if you start exploring. There are quite a lot of cool things to uncover. For example, if you run around enough, enemies start to spawn. Kill a few and some of the elite ones that appeared will drop loot crates when they die. They're empty, but it was a cool surprise until they opened up. Remember that big waterfall of Vex milk as your ghost describes it? Well, this is actually Radiolarian fluid, which is essentially what the Vex are. This mind fluid simply pilots the metal vessels that we fight. Also, running in the Vex milk is pretty painful. We also found what looks like a triangular door that resembles one from the Vault of Glass raid in the first game. Maybe this will lead to something when the full game is released. Lastly, you can also see a crashed human colony ship from when humanity tried to colonise this planet. It resembles those from the Cosmodrome in the first game. Those are all the little details that we picked up, but are there any that we missed? Let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know which class you're going to play when the game goes live. I just can't decide. As always, this is James for Curse saying thanks for watching and enjoy the game. But most importantly, do it for the puppies! Uh, follow that guy.